no family support here. It was like friends. I'm telling you, me have some really friends. We didn't say friends, God. We didn't say acquaintances, like a friend, like some people. <laughs> back to another video with your girl Petta. Um, today's video is a Q&A. Um, I've been flooded with a lot of questions from my social media handles and I'm here to answer them for you guys today. But before you get into the video, please, I'm asking you to just like the video guys and I want to say a big thank you for your continuous support. I truly appreciate you guys. Yes, and you know you guys been seeing me often um, for the past few days and I'm extremely all of my stuff, pat on the shoulder, good girl. Yeah, I've been doing great. So, guys, thank you. Just stick around and let's dive into the video. See, I'm wearing a shirt with my grandma. My grandma died the 16th of this month, one year ago, and today is 11 years exactly date and day. So, my mom died Tuesday, August 24th. 2010 so i'm celebrating my mom's 11th anniversary and trust me today i had a really rough day but it feels like it's like 11 days and not 11 years but you know what we have to push forward and i know she wants us to have a beautiful time here on earth because i know she enjoyed her, her time everybody know my knows my mom knows she's a she's a you know who she is for those that knows her but my mom is a really a virtuous woman like i don't even want to talk about it. the video is not about her so let's dive into the video so guys i have a piece of paper that i wrote the question and because they're in my phone and i'm actually using my phone to to film but i don't know my daughter left my computer so let me see if i can deal with them from the computer so the question is how you manage to stay so young how old are you <laughs> how do i manage to stay so young I managed to stay so young because first, you have to have a clean heart. Yes, a clean heart and not being petty. Yes, you have to, you know, love, you know, love people, treat people right. And also eat healthy, get your eight hours sleep, seven to eight hours sleep, drink a lot of water and what again? Eat healthy, sleep, exercise, you have to walk, you have to do some form of exercise. Yeah, so that's how I stay too. I, I managed to stay young and I'm 44, yes, 44. I can't even flip it, I can flip it, you know what you are again. But I'm 44, yes. Second question is, would you marry again? For sure, fool, of course I would marry again, yes. I would definitely marry again. I'm not gonna let because of one man mistake I choose to be unhappy for the rest of my life. Hell no. Where's the chapel? Where's the ring? Where's the husband? Let's go. We're going down the aisle because we're gonna go tie the knot. Yes, I will definitely marry again. Oh, has YouTube been so far? Oh, YouTube. Good. I figured. I found out. I figured out like with this youtube thing you have to be consistent when posting because if i take long to post it's like my subscriber just sit but as soon as i post a video at least at least two to three subscriber on each video so it's been going so far and i figure out like the thing that I've, i should do to really push my youtube um channel further so i'm working on it it's consistent and it's a work in progress so I'm on top of it and uh, I promise you guys I will do two one to two videos per week and I've been slacking so I'm back on track so, so next question is um where do you work okay guys as I, I told you in my first first video I'm an early childhood educator but I'm, if you had to turn back times what would you do if I had to turn back the end of time I would may, I, maybe I would go back to school earlier uh, earlier earlier yeah, earlier, yeah, earlier. Uh, we, uh, we patwa with Jamaica now, which are patwa sometimes we don't realize. But yeah, 
I think I will go back to school because now I should be like enjoying life. I'm part of four. I should be touring, having fun, and I'm going back to school. Well, that's what I would do. Or maybe I have my daughter a little bit younger in my late teen because I did I mess up in a school. Why not never get pregnant early? So the two things is I had my daughter earlier, uh, um, a little bit earlier, or go back to school. The next question is, what is your memorable moment? Oh, my memorable moment is I have to the day that I gave birth to my daughter and the day I lost my mom. Yeah, those two days. Like, as you can see, my mom, the day that I lost my mom today, say so this is August 24, 2010. I even tattooed it on my body. I didn't put my daughter, but my mom is here. So, those are my two memorable moments the day I gave birth and the day I lose my queen. Yeah, um, when is your birthday and what is your plan? Oh, like my birthday is in November. I'm a November baby. I'm a Scorpio. Yes, Scorpio. We sting. Don't play with me. We water. We drown the yoga. Yeah. I'm, uh, I have no plans. I'm just going to take it day by day. Actually, everybody knows I'm a birthday girl. I want gifts. I want gifts for my birthday, but for planning, I have no plan. I was planning on traveling for my birthday, but it's not going to work because I'm going to be in school and during that time it's going to be like uh, midterm, so you know, exam and you have to focus because girl want to pass, want to graduate on time, so no plans. What things do you enjoy doing other than shopping? Dressing, <laughs> um, traveling. I enjoy traveling and cleaning and doing laundry. I enjoy doing laundry, especially when I'm doing like my white clothes. I enjoy seeing some nice clothes in the washer or the dryer. So, but my first is traveling. Um, the next question is. How are you coping in the pandemic and what are the things you what are some things you learned? Um this pandemic has taught me how to be humble. Yes, it, I think it's humble me a little bit and it brings out a lot of skills. I think I've learned better how to communicate with not just my child but with other people around me, especially when you're in that space for so long with certain individual and your home not working and then you have to learn to share space. So I think it taught me how to communicate better, be humble, save. Cause I'm telling you, a lot of people do a lot of saving during this pandemic. A lot of people clear up them debt through this pandemic. So. It has taught me a lot. At the beginning, I was a little bit, I had some really um, panic moments. I was paranoid, like super, super paranoid. I would never go to somebody's house. I don't want no one to come to my house. If I go outside just to the garbage heap, I would just come straight home, take my clothes off and show up. But I'm much better right now. I just go out there in faith. I just be radical and step out and just ask God to just cover me under the blood. So I'm coping and I did my part. I take my vaccine and I try to be as distant as possible. I'm especially to protect those that are around me. So I think I'm doing pretty good so far. Your top three favorite store to shop at. Um, I'm gonna know like for shoes, I do Gucci because Gucci is the cheapest so far. I love Zara. All right, I'm gonna leave out the name brand, so I'm gonna say Zara, my number one, HM, and for jeans, I go American Eagle. So, Zara, HM, and American Eagle. Yes, so. Would you ever move back to Jamaica and why not? Honestly, me love Jamaica and it's a tough question. I don't know if 
maybe when I'm old, but now in my adult stage, no. I don't think I'm going back to Jamaica. Please, don't no bash me. I love Jamaica. But, like, unless, if you it's hard. But for now, for now, this present moment now, sometimes, like, with so proud of Jamaica, Jamaica, I'm scared. Like, I don't, I don't know why, like, but for now, no. Please, I'm begging you guys, don't bash me. But I love Jamaica. If me, if somebody gonna take me on a vacation, the first place I want to go is Jamaica. But for live right now, no. No. What's something you wish you wish your younger self knew? Ah. <laughs> what some things I wish my younger self knew? How can I be these men are? Yeah. And when them tell you something, you don't know, believe them. I'm going to tell you a good man out there, you know, but honestly, if I could live my life again, if I could go back in that state, in my 20, early 20s, late 20s, early 30s, like no boy couldn't play with me. They couldn't play with yes, so because I tell me who they look at them, trust me. So, like, these kind of been like, Two faced, liar, chucky man. Yes, I wish, like, I'm so mature right now, as I, I see the fakers, and I can tell the slowly ways. What are some of your most challenging time in Canada? Oh my god, I came to Canada um, as a non document immigrant, and I had some really rough challenges with my daughter, and I did not have no like support, like family support that I, I had some really rough time no family support here it was like friends i'm telling you we had some really friends we did not say friends because when i say acquaintances like a friend like some people in a corner like they're acquaintances and some people are really close to me we're like maybe not as close as before but they're the one who helped me out yes especially in my young when my daughter was very young but I have some really challenging times. Like I, well, the good thing about this is I came to Canada. I've been working, even when I was non-documented. I was working, and uh, when um, doing my marriage, if I could live my life over, I would never choose. Well, he gave me my paper, but maybe if I what I knew now, I would choose somebody else. So those are my most challenging times. Your favorite meals. Um, I love curry goat, I love bread, and uh, rice, rice and bread and curry goat, and pork, so yes, curry goat and pork, uh, rice and bread. Um, what are your short term goals? My short term goals is to focus on school and execute with honors like the last time. I'm joking, I'm no, I don't care nothing about honors. I just want to go and I pass. So that's my short term goal right now to focus on school, execute, and get everything done. Um, what are your long term goals? My long term goal is to attain a job in my field, travel, help out family who need the needs um, in the position where we can help, you know, to different charities and stuff. So those are my long term goals is to attain a job. In my field, help families in need and child. Oh, the next question is where are you from? I'm from Jamaica. I'm from Clarendon, Jamaica. Okay, how many kids do you have? I have one daughter, one little girl, one young adult. And um, where do you live? Where do I live? I live in Toronto, Toronto, Canada. Um, many siblings okay i have a lot of siblings my mother was a baby factory yes my mother was a baby factory she had eight boy, eight girls and four boys um on my dad's side i have four siblings two two sisters and two brothers what's the relationship with your family what's the relationship with your family 
Oh well, my family would consist of my also, but I think you mean my relatives. But my relatives, we don't speak every day on a daily basis, but we are like this. We argue today and we are like this tomorrow. And no matter what, we are like this. Family is everything. And when you say family, it's not just blood. You have people where you meet along the way, we are family. Do you planning on having more kids? I need grandbabies. I have a grandbaby, but it's a rat. It's a hamster. No more babies. No more babies. I'm planning on enjoying the rest of my life. I, I, I spent 19 years taking care of that little girl, still taking care of her. No, she's gonna give me five grandbabies. Four boys and one little girl, and a little girl can be last. I mean, I want no more girls with me. Around the girl is to me. What type of content do what? what type of content we should look forward to on your channel? Okay, as I said, my channel is mostly like fashion, DIY, vlogs, um healthy eating. So those are the area that I'm focusing on right now. So um planning and doing a sit down talk about a huge journey that I'm going through right now that is about it's um it's gonna continue but I think I'm gonna stop at the level that I'm at so just look forward for this video my weight loss journey come up because I I had a, a huge chop off my weight so look forward for that and I have a few DIY and I have a few video coming up so just stay tuned and i plan um, i promise you guys that i said i'm gonna do the video you're gonna get the video so guys i thank you so much for watching and i come to the end of this video but before you exit the video guys i'm begging you please to like and subscribe and like and like and like and stay tuned guys i hope I answer all the questions that was thrown at me on my social media and I don't know what to put the end. So guys, thank you so much and see you in my next video. Peace out and just stay blessed. Out of fear. Oh. I will do out of fear. Out of fear. No. I will do out of fear. Out of fear. Alright, I'm